So this is what I worked on yesterday. I landscaped this area. Now, pinagsisisihan ko na hindi ko kinuha yung before and after niya. Because it has a before and after. I removed these. Makahiya. Actually, sobrang dami makahiya. And I just put right now um, yung rabbit manure with diami. And naturally, because of the time, yan, kinakahig na ni Orpington yung tsaka ni RIR yung mga nando doon sa manure. This is what I love about chickens. They can they can really convert these microorganisms into eggs and meat. So this is um, one way of natural feed, naturally feeding them, which is healthier for them than giving them um, antibiotic field pellets or rabbit uh, or feeds. Not that I am fiesta na sila. That's just half a bag of the garbage bag that we have. Meron pang mga plastic and stuff, so I will have to remove that one. Ang problem lang dito is that. <laughs> Yan, kaka, hindi pa nagpa-prosper yung mga halaman na tinanim kahapon. Naapaka-apaka na nila. But this is actually very good for the soil. And very good for the chickens that they can range so that they can lay good eggs. Kasi when they were um, in this area, wala silang masyadong makuha. And hindi kami nakakapag-produce ng eggs for some time. And it's really frustrating. So now, because they are arranged, yeah, it can help us control the insects and um, pests in the farm. Yung nga lang, my landscape would have to suffer because like this, katatanim ko lang ng mga yan and hinapakapakan na nila. So right now, I'm thinking of weighing things. Kung ano ba yung maganda, the chicken or my, or my landscape. <laughs> I wanted to convert this into um, my medicinal herbal patch and daddy already gave me the go signal to take these out so I'm thinking how we'll be able to utilize this space without killing the ano they already harvested the ano eh Oh, ayun pa pala. Hindi pa pala siya yung harvest Yung aming pumpkin. And I noticed, ayun pa yung mga... Where's that? Hindi makita sa, sa video. Yung malalaking kamatis. Um, but this place is teeming with a lot of makahiya, which is... I, I am thinking about studying about it. Na... Where does it frequent and why? And what's its benefit? Because Sam loves the, ano. Sam loves the, the flowers. Actually, she picked that before. Um, I want to utilize the space. Um, there's this thing that we, we studied about permaculture na itong kakawate is a good uh, sa organic farming pala yun, that the kakawate is a good, parang pampamposte. This is the mulberry that we are trying to arch before, and we did successfully. Unfortunately, nagpatong-patong kasi yung <laughs> I really didn't want it to be this close. Dapat dun siya sa kabilang road, para mag ko siya. Para yung way papunta doon sa dulo ng patch is malilim, and ito lang yung part na mainit. I also don't know what to do with these yellow plants since insects are, um, what to say, they are attracted to yellow plants so it's a good thing that they're there. 
but I cannot utilize this much space if it's there. So this is the Sera board and that's where parang pinakakamalig namin. That's where all the stuffs are right now. And this used to be the patch for the strawberry na inulan. So kailangan medyo resilient sa water yung mga things na itatanim dito. This is Daddy's Luya. And we already harvested like around 20 to 100, no, 50 pesos. This is the ito yung gagawin namin pantanim sa next na season. Paris, come on, let's harvest this na so we can, ano, we already saved seeds for the sitaw and we have the mungo seeds which we will, we will plant in the other property. Sam is there. Be careful, ha? Yun niya sana yung aking vegetable patch but um, I converted it to the chicken pasture which is also nakakaawa kasi the land is so dry. Super clay. So we'll harvest these, the seeds in it. And then we'll plant them. It was actually the first time that I ate talong raw. Yung hindi pala raw, yung nilaga lang. And I really liked it. Unang una, it's free food. And pangalawa, ano sa tanim ko. Because the situation natin right now where the crops are being um, tinatanim siya with a lot of insecticide, a lot of pesticide, which is toxic to human consumption. So, madami tayong sakit na hindi na magamot dahil nga sa... I need the basket for this or that one or that container. The boys went out to get the feed since hindi ma-deliver ang feeds ng Pugo right now. So, kami lang girls ang nandi dito sa farm. So, we'll do a lot of cleaning. I really don't know what the benefit of makahiya is but definitely there's um, a reason for them. Because God created everything for a reason. And lahat may purpose. So, this is one thing na kinakain din daw. Ay, medyo maano siya. So, we'll try to get as many as we can and then make a clearing. It's a lot of work. But, might as well get into it because I want to put the medicinal plants in here. The, um, the ones that we have there, we have insulin plant. Maybe I will have, ah, ito yung parang ano, I just, yung nag, ano na, masakit. Yeah. I just fell there. Yeah. So maybe we'll have that, the medicinal plants. We have insulin plant. This is actually very madaling buhayin. And then we have the ginseng plant. Where is it? Ito o, yung ginseng plant, which is very good for um, immune then And sa, uh, madami siyang benefits. Sa the Chinese use them. And then we have the oregano. And the, we have the diap and then the sternity. So I'll put them there. And I, my, my, the goal is to have um, access to medicines that are free and natural para mas madali tayong gumaling. Actually, the mulberry leaves are being made into tea and has a lot of nutrients. It is very rich in vitamin C. It's very, it has zinc and other nutritional value. And there's so many work to do. <laughs> Parang uulan pa. I was studying about accounting because it's the end of the year and um, niwanan ako ng bookkeeper. So there are a lot of things that I'm trying to learn at the same time right now. And still, we need to furnish. Ang dami-dami ng sobrang dami ng damo doon. Again, meron? Yeah. I just feel. Yeah. 
So, we're thinking of this. Kasi sobrang clay talaga siya. Clay is. So, we're trying to... I'm still thinking if we'll make it into a pond na lang. Kasi hindi talaga siya mataniman. This is the part where it's good to plant. And who knows, maybe we can amend the soil with a lot of animals that we have. Especially rabbits. Sobrang araw-araw. Ang dami-dami nilang. Um, ang dami-dami nilang poop. We need a basket for this. Let's harvest the mulberry leaves because this is very rich in ano in nutrition and we'd have to replant para may kumakain siyang mga insekto oh man right now this place is being utilized for bilaran ng tae ng pugo so para ma-amend yung soil and ang ganda naman nangyari dito kasi napatag na nung Napatag na siya somehow. Hindi na siya pa-slope masyado. Um, we'll be able to make kasi the, the soil rich again. Kasi dahil nga pina... Dati ang height nito is yan. Pababasang ganun. And this used to be um, panay mga puno. So, ang madami dito is alalangad and kawayan, and may madre de kakawati pa pala dun. And ito yung actually isa sa mga goal ko, because this is, the rabbits eat this eh. So I want this to do its job like this, pero hindi pa baba. I want it to go up, para mag-create siya ng, ng shade, and makapagtanim ng mga ibang, kasi tirik na tirik ang araw dito. So at least na-achieve siya somehow. Pag meron kang farm, hindi ka pwedeng ma-depress because the time na nag, na, na naglungkot-lungkutan ka, ayan. Ang dami na siya. So, hinakahig-kahig na siya ng chicken kasi merong mga organisms in the poop na healthy sa kanila. So, that's one thing. Nagsimula na yung aking anak. Let's harvest first the ano, baby. Wow, ang sharp ah. Yes. Let's harvest first the ano mulberry yes. leaves so we have something to feed the, the rabbits. Something to my hair. I'll show and this. I, yes. I just... <gasps> oh my god! Yun lang tabang talaga maganda sa madaming tanim. Right now, we have cut the madre de cacao or cacahuate leaf and the uh, mulberry leaves so we'll give them to the rabbits ito dapat yung mga rabbits na isu showcase like to show them one trivia lang the reason why rabbits rabbits ph is named like that is because i wanted to um there are two types of rabbits the fancy rabbits and the meat type rabbits so when i was when i was able to be aware of that I wanted to separate the two. So, this is the effort to do that. Pero kasi hindi ko pa nagagawa. So, the chinchilla is here, which is also a meat-type rabbit. But since I wanted to showcase to people na, oh, meron pala, ganito pala yung, yung ano, I want this to be a um, section for the rabbit encounter here in the farm. Ang gulo ng buhok ko. Ayan. So, may lang habang nag, naglilinis. So, we have here the lop. And this is still a Californian. Actually, this is a cross of the Transylvanian cross, Lancaster, that we were able to avail early this year. Um, ito na anak na niya, actually. This is just crossed with a upgraded to, sh to see kung magmamatter ba yung cross sa upgrades at saka sa pure. So, siya yun. And then, we still have the um, Holland Lap nga dito. These are the, this is the Hyla Optima. Those. No, this is the PS100 box. And then, Lion Head and yung kanyang partner na Lion Head. Ang ganda ng kanyang markings. And then, the Lion Head for the first, eto. Itong first two rows and then the Lap. And these are the um, 
Californian imported and yung aking project rabbit na hindi na perfect yung kanyang yung kanyang fur kasi ayun no nag lion head siya pero hindi lumabas lahat ng fur so nag lop siya lion lop pero walang fur dun sa gitna dapat perfect so eto din yung si RW111 na bilog na bilog sobrang ganda no, parang bilog to nakakatuwa Madre de Agua it has moisture and is richer in fiber than any other forage that you can find so it's really really very very good um, the these leaves are being eaten by insects so it indicates na something is still wrong with my soil so I need to amend it actually it's hanging by a thread in there so I need to amend that excuse the kalat ito medyo may pagkaaloof to eh hindi siya masyadong close pero ayan, kakainin niya yan so has crude fiber which most forages have actually dun lang din naman kinukuha ng feeds ang content niya sa um, raw products natin so yun the Madre de Agua, actually, yung maganda lang dito sa mga, sa design ni Lord, sa mga ganitong forages, sa free food, the more that you get from it, the, the more that you take from it, like, eto, tinagtitiris-tiris ako, ayun, no, meron na siyang mga bagong sprout. The more that it keeps growing, kahit na i, pag kinat mo siya, dalawa, two more will grow from the head. So, it's very, very beautiful how God created things. I still want to um, ituloy ito sa paligid. This is, this is before the, this is where we put the rabbits. But since, mas kailangan ng pugo ang easy access and we're just learning the pugo production, the quail production. So, dyan muna sila. And yung rabbits na muna sa taas. Actually, I made several mistakes in the place where I put the ang dami niyang insekto langgam, kinakain ng langgam eto din, I need to clean it ang dami kong maling decision dun sa paglalagay ng warehouse because I wanted to maximize the space but kailangan talaga you have the perfect um, pag 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 farmer ka you're an engineer a nutritionist a veterinarian uh, an accounting accountant and minsan nagkakumpot ni kumpot ni ka pa so you're all all in one I made the mistake with that ano, warehouse because it's really super super hot but thankfully we can amend it we plan to um, plant kawayan so, isa din naman din yun sa mga goal ng, ng Department of Agriculture to plant more kawayan because kawayan ha, releases more oxygen than, than the regular trees that we have. So, maganda siya. Iwas-iwas nga lang kapag napabayaan si kawayan, pwede siyang pamahayan ng ahas. So, we don't want that. Ang dami ko na namang kinuwento. Kanina pa ako nagka-cut-cut na ano. I just wanted to go here to give the forages since I miss I miss this guys the boys are here na. we still need to make our conduct a study as to how much leaves we can give because we know the rabbits the more parang everything in accession is too much um, everything in, in accession is not good for them so, nag-nibble-nibble na itong mga to. Kakawate has, compo, um, has deworming properties. Has properties that can help deworm your rabbits. Yun pala ang tamang term. Tamang sabihin. So, give this in this amount to help your rabbits cleanse its tummy. Yan. Observe nyo din yung stool nila kung papangit or what. Ayan na yung pagkain, yung pugo. 
and then the chinchilla. Here. I wanted to do this again to show everyone that they really eat it. Actually, in other parts of the world, they want, they're considering this because also the kakawate has um, good protein content. Kasi protein din talaga ang kailangan ng mga rabbits to ng most livestock pala to help them in the production at saka mas makapagpalaki. Ayan. So even the transy cross would eat it. Actually dito hindi nagmanifest. Sa bagay ang Transylvania kasi well, yeah. Hindi din naman kasi pure yung aming Transylvania. It was a cross with the Lancaster. So US line and then Euro line and then crossed with the upgrades pero kitang kita niyo yung fur niya very maganda hindi kagaya ng indo na buhaghag ang fur Uy, okay sila pa gustong gusto nice and then the Hyla Optima cross Ito yung box na PS. So, Junior. <laughs> Checkers. And I give it the whole mulberry leaf. Mulberry leaves are rich in vitamin C and zinc and other nutritional components that your livestock would need. So, yan. And then, yung tangkay we replant namin so that we can start um, the the feeding of forages. For now, we, we have actually started for over three weeks na to help adjust the rabbits. Hindi lang kami makapag-let go sa, feed, sa feeds kasi nga meron pa kami mga imported waiting to be delivered in uh, Mindanao. Ubus nyo na agad yung kakawate. Ito. I'm feeling very hopeful with the American chinchilla that we have with um, LJJ rabbitry. So, I hope na lumaki yun in nature with the German giant. So, that's something that we want to choose. They actually did the... Um, I think um, it was JSF Pineda that really said who is crossing the PS100 with the German Giant. So it's an ultimate hybrid since German Giant is still not a recognized, not a recognized breed sa Arba. I'm not sure if this will still grow. Yeah. Oh no. Nakawala si Shadow hinuhin ng huli yung ano. Manok. Patay yung manok na yun, Rom. Let's check out this hybrid. Nakakatuwa. Yung um, PS100 cross with a uh, with the, the PS100 crust with the pure Californian has really very big ears. Sobrang laki talaga ng ears niya. <laughs> I'll show it upstairs. I need to go there because I promised Sir Alex the Aka that I will show him his dough before delivering it to Tarlaca. Uh, no, Sir Alex is in vegan. I actually wanted to go to vegan to um, visit the yung old houses there which is a tourist spot thank you honey sam still hasn't changed he still gives me flowers i don't change yeah you don't thank you love actually this the rabbits eat them no 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 <laughs> okay i'll keep it yeah All right. okay i will not i will not Another 
another one flower I like it I actually when I was visiting the ano the insects love this eh yung red na plant and the yellow plants it's amazing na kung ano yung mga um ano yung madami sa wild the insects love them so that's one way of controlling pests in the wild Yan. and then after giving the leaves I will put this in water and then regrow ang ganda ng creation ni Lord no? you will not run out of free food because of what is available you are a monster did it kill anyone did it kill anyone <laughs> This is, this is nagpapayakap siya, though. Hmm? This is... Big teddy bear you are. This is... Shadow, I miss you too. I miss you too. Say goodbye. Goodbye! Bye! Bye!